You are a YouTuber. You ain't a boxer, mate. It's I just want to know. Do people know that you've rented the name and you switched it before you went the on name. the reality Listen, show? Listen, the size of this magnitude, my ninth fight, I've won the lottery. I, Jake Joseph Paul, will knock out, defeat, and embarrass Tommy Fury. I think your, your family's going to throw in the towel. If you lose to this man, will you finally accept that you're a celebrity and not a real boxer? Trash talk can be a powerful weapon in sports, but sometimes it backfires in the most spectacular way possible. Come out with that dumbass robot. You can do whatever you want. You will get fucking knocked out. You can make as many bets. The only thing I bet on is myself. Time to step into the... Oh! In this video, we are going to explore some of the most cringe-worthy moments when Trash Talk went wrong in the Tommy Fury and Jake Paul fight, leaving one of the athletes red-faced and regretful. Get ready to witness some epic fails, hilarious blunders and jaw-dropping mistakes that will leave you wondering why they even tried to Trash Talk in the first place. The beef between these two young athletes, Tommy Fury and Jake Paul, has been going on for over three years already and they tried to set up a fight two times already but Tommy Fury has pulled out of both fights. So I just want to come in here and set the record straight before anybody else tries to. Me and my team this morning arrived at Heathrow Airport ready for the press conference, ready to fly out and as soon as I entered the airport I got pulled to one side and I was told by the Homeland Security officer that was there that my Esther had been denied and I wasn't able to travel to the USA for a reason that I apparently know. I can stand here and say I've done absolutely nothing wrong and I have no clue why I'm not allowed to travel to the USA. Um, I, like I said, I've been training for a fight this whole time, you know, and that's all I've been doing. I have no clue why they would not la allow me to travel today, um, and neither does any of my team or my lawyers. So now I'm having to go to the embassies and all this sort of stuff, trying to resolve it. And I'm in the middle of training, guys. I don't know why this has happened today. It's a massive shock to me and my whole team. So obviously, it's a matter that needs to be resolved. It's government issues. You know, it's a lot bigger than the fight right now and I'm just trying to get it sorted but I just wanted to let you all know where it was at. But the third fight agreement finally happened and the athletes fought and what an insane fight it was. But first, why was it so important for Jake Paul to fight Tommy Fury? First of all, Jake Paul wanted to fight a real boxer and even better, Tommy Fury is the smaller brother of Tyson Fury, the heavyweight world champion, one of the greatest boxers of our generation. If Jake Paul could beat Tommy Fury, this would skyrocket his boxing career but for Tommy Fury this would mean that he has to retire from boxing and change his last name. If Tommy can't splatter Jake Paul, I'll retire him from boxing myself. And a few months ago, Jake Paul commentated a fight of Tommy Fury and things really got heated again. Well, there's no way. Cool, like he's got some yeah, hand speed. Yeah. But it doesn't matter when you don't have anything behind it. Like the power goes out the window. I could just walk on the jab there. Yeah, I could just walk this guy down and just put him to sleep. John Fury, who is Tommy Fury's father, raged in the ring and at one point he even took off his shirt and started shadowboxing in the ring. Jake was in their head and he knew the fight isn't far away. It's going on. Once the fight was finally announced for the third time, everyone was hyped to see the fight because this was going on for many years now. Jake Paul obviously tried to play mind games with Tommy Fury, but Tommy Fury did not even show up for the first press conference and his excuse was that he needs to train. Obviously all of you guys know that Jake Paul was not happy at all. Since he's not here, are you, are you annoyed or are you upset or what? No, I'm, I'm used to his behavior at this point. You know, he's unprofessional, he's a flake. He's not a serious businessman, he's not a serious fighter. At the second press conference, Tommy Fury finally showed up and it got heated again. Tommy Fury fell right into Jake Paul's trap. Can you guys actually guess what the trap was this time? Yeah, you're right, a bet again. So I think, I think, we, make, I think we make a deal then, since you're so confident. I think we make a deal. If you win, I'll pay you double what I'm paying you already. 
But if I win, I take everything that I'm paying you. Delicious. Deli deal or no deal. Since, since you're so confident. <laughs> deal or no deal. Since you're so confident. Take it. After Jake Paul wanted to make the bet, Tommy Fury did not know what to say at first. But then Tommy Fury's father, John Fury, told him to accept the bet. Why are you going to stand up like you want to do something? Sit back down. I just want to shake Sit your hand. Sit back down. Sit back down. Answer hands. the question. You've dealt. You've got a deal. All or nothing. All or nothing. You've got it. You've got it. At the face to face, both fighters seem to be very confident in their ability to beat the other opponent. Man, will you finally accept that you're a celebrity boxer and not a real boxer? Next question, brother. No, no, no. Can't Answer lose. The question. Can't no, no. lose, won't lose. No, I, no. Jake Joseph Paul, will knock out, <laughs> defeat, and embarrass Tommy Fury. No, no, Fury. no, just do me a favor. February 26, I want three to days on to this. from now. All week. You know, I'm here to put this man away and, you know, solidify my name in becoming, you know, the guy, you know, the prospect on the way up to being a champion. And to show everybody that this guy is not on my level. Jake Paul once again brought up the contract for the bet and Tommy Fury and John Fury agreed for the bet again. Ed, are you? Tommy Fake Fury, ready to sign the contract. Bring it on, baby, because there's no Bring way. Bring out the contract. There's no way you can beat me. We got it right here. <laughs> yes. Laura's already drafted it up this week. Yeah. yeah. yeah if no, I right. win, yeah. if I win, I take all the money you're being paid. Yeah, if you yeah. win, yeah. I double yeah. it up. No, 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 I'm going to be. It's all right. Why is the dad always coming no, in? No, no, no. We need to have our representative look at that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, no, that's what I was going to do. That was going to take it off him for yeah, my lawyer to look fine. at. We can we'll email it. We yeah, can email it. Email it. And I'm going to whatever you want. I'm going to keep. I just want to make sure this is genuine, you know? Yeah, no, 100%. And I respect that. And I'm going to keep everyone updated. Stay tuned on my social medias because if you don't sign it, if you don't sign it, I'm exposing that. I will sign this. Okay. I will sign this. He will definitely. Got my word as a fury, okay. head of the fury clan. He will definitely sign that one. My lawyers look there. You go, he will definitely got there my word go. on that because okay. the head of the fury clan, the father of the WBC lineal heavyweight champion of the world, it's best it's ever been. There's me and there's me out. That will get signed. Let's go. That will there get you signed. Go. Right. Let's there you go. go. So you pass this over, but they never signed the contract, and this showed that there's something they are scared of. This, so as you guys saw the bet yesterday on stage, Tommy agreed to it shook my hand on stage. His dad said that they were agreed to it. So I signed the contract right in front of them. We send it over to their lawyers. And just as I thought, they have gone silent as a mouse for the last 24 hours. They do not want to sign the contract. And it just goes to show that they have this false confidence. Put your money where your mouth is. You shook on it like a man. And now you guys haven't signed the actual content contract to make the deal official. Soft. Finally, it's time to fight.